Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Well, today was a fantastic day to go to the range. I mean, it was absolutely glorious. A beautiful Iowa fall day. Temperatures were about 55 degrees. Uh, the winds were yeah, a little bit out of the north, but not too terribly bad. Bright sunny skies, it was absolutely wonderful. And what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you a little montage of shooting that was filmed by my friend Mike, handheld with this particular camera. So it's just a mon montage, but let me give you a little bit of a backstory here so you'll understand what you're, what you're seeing. First of all, you've heard many times by many people that the nicest people that you're ever gonna meet in your life, you're gonna meet at the range, in the shooting sports in the firearms community, the gun culture, whatever it is that you want to call it. You're going to be great people like that. But I'm going to add something else to this. I'm going to put a little bit of a twist on it. You also, in my opinion, meet the nicest people with great character at a martial arts dojo. I mean that. Uh, the dojo that I attend, I'll tell you what, we've got great people there. We've got law enforcement officers. We have you know former service members. First responders, I mean, there's a great deal of shooters that go there to that dojo. And that's where I met Mike. And Mike and I just had an instantaneous connection, struck up an immediate friendship. And Mike and I had been talking about going to the range, but I've had a very, very busy summer. And eventually, today, we made it a reality. So speaking of busy, I've got a confession to make. I haven't been to the range in several months. So what you're gonna see is me working off range rust. Life gets busy, work gets busy, stuff like that. So how I kept my skills sharp, now I did do some firearms training classes, but I didn't do any shooting. How I kept, kept my uh, skills sharp was by dry fire practice. Every day at home, just very faithfully doing dry fire training, every day just constantly doing nothing but that and practicing gun handling, drawing, all the things that a lot of people think are boring. So the very first clip that you're gonna see is at the 100 yard range where Mike was uh, trying out his new AR and he did a fantastic job with that. But this little clip is me asking Mike to call my shots because I've got a Glock 19 and there's a piece of steel at a 100 yards. So you'll see in the clip me asking Mike to call the shots, but the first thing that you see is me hitting the steel at 100 yards. Now, what didn't get filmed on camera was there was a guy down at the other end of the bay with a rifle and he comes trotting over and he's like, you hit the steel with that, with that Glock? Yeah. More than once, actually. It was cool. It was awesome. Uh, I also used Mike to uh, call shots for me on the pistol ranges, and uh, there was there was one there where uh, it didn't get filmed. But I'm firing away, and I look over and I call out to Mike, and I'm I'm like, Mike, where are my shots going? And he yells back. He's like through the same hole and i'm like awesome and one clip that you're gonna see is me engaging a target with my glock 43 from oh, appendix carry so there you have it without further ado here we go uh, hey everybody this is matt thanks for watching and welcome back we're here at the range we've got steel 100 yards down and we're gonna go ahead and try to hit it with this Glock 19. And Mike, if you'd want to call, Mike, if you want to call the impacts, let me know where I'm hitting. Let me get this thing up and going again. Got it. Hit. Yep. <laughs> Hit on steel to 100 yards with a Glock 19. I'll take that. Okay, so that was the 100 yard shot on steel with a Glock 19. If I can do it, you can do it too. You really can. 
get out there, push your limits and try it. Let's take one more look at that. Hit on steel to 100 yards with a Glock 19. I'll take that. Alrighty, now that we've got that out of the way, let's go on to the little shooting montage. Okay, that's it. That's all I've got. Great day at the range. Great day out with my friend Mike. Mike did a fantastic job. And I just wanted to say I appreciate all of you viewers. You mean a lot to me. I love having you people watch this channel. And I love being able to give back. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Have a good one. And of course, be safe out there.